Good morning, my name is Hank Hendrickson. I'm the Executive Director of the U.S. Philippine Society. And I'm here at USIP today to talk about the Philippines and U.S.-Philippines relations. From the U.S. Philippine Society point of view, we've had uh, opportunities to meet with President Marcos in the Philippines. So we met with him and his team before this inauguration last year, and then again uh, in January and February of this year, as well as during his visit to Washington in May. So we've gotten to know him. He's been very uh, consistent in his messaging. He's uh, he said uh, that he can't envision a future uh, relationship uh, with the, the United States that's not Im really important for the Philippines. Uh, so he's put a much higher priority on, on relations with the United States. And it's a very broad uh, agenda that he has before him in terms of, of, of areas that he sees as important for in terms of cooperation with the United States. And it's not just dealing with the security challenges in the South China Sea, it's, uh, it's the recovery uh, uh, after COVID, it's getting the economy uh, to transform in ways that can provide more jobs for Filipinos and, uh, and looking at opportunities in terms of strategic minerals, energy uh, for the country that needs it. It's 110 million people uh, and it's vulnerable, so they want to look at clean energy alternatives. Uh, and they're looking at the U.S. to, to be a partner in, in tackling some of the uh, uh, problems that, uh, that the Philippines faces in terms of building resilience and disaster uh, response and it's a, it's a, as well as uh, some of these transnational issues of drugs and terrorism and so on. So it's a remarkably uh, full agenda and I think this administration in the Philippines and the administration here in Washington understand that engagement with the Philippines can be a win-win. In uh, the southern Philippines, there's a, been a long-standing uh, conflict that's uh, taken place between a Muslim community uh, base uh, and, uh, and, the, and the Filipinos who have come into that area. Uh, the government has had uh, a hand in, in trying to uh, deal with conflict there in various ways, uh, including through, through uh, military actions over the years. Uh, but on the political side, there's been progress in establishing autonomy within the, the Philippine state uh, based uh, in Muslim majority areas of Mindanao. And uh, there's been success in, in forming uh, an autonomous government uh, that includes the two largest uh, formerly uh, rebel groups, armed groups, uh, who are now working with the government uh, and running their uh, autonomous region in the Bangsamora area of, of Mindanao. What I think is, is hopeful is that there's international attention uh, and recognition of the successes there, and what we're trying to do is to support groups uh, that are there to help. My wish list, if you know, we were able to uh, uh, to get things done uh, through wishing them that they would happen in Washington, would be for uh, progress in the area of trade. Philippines, like other countries in in the Asia Pacific region, uh, are going to look for trade arrangements and. We'd like to see the United States uh, do more in terms of setting the rules for the trade with the Philippines and, and the region in general uh, and not leave the field open uh, to others. But it would be also uh, useful for the, I think for the United States early in dealing early on in this new six year term of President Marcos to, to address areas that are of real domestic concern over there in the Philippines, which is uh, economic development and jobs uh, for people, feeding people, uh, so getting people employed, getting jobs, uh, and that would show that the United States is, is tuned in to, 
to the, to the real domestic needs of that country in a way that can be helpful to them and that they would then see value in strengthening the overall relationship in ways that they've done so far in this first year of the administration. Thank you.